Hi guys, Daz is back with another episode of my top 20 selling comic books of the week. This time it's episode 44 and today I'm discussing the best selling books on eBay for the week of the 23rd of October 2019. Apologies, I'm a little bit late with this one, but it's been a manic week. The kids and the wife have been off for Halloween and we've had some fun. So, let's get into it. Since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics. And they scour thousands of eBay sales to governate data to spotlight to the hottest selling comics. Here is this week's top 20. As always, let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. Starting in at number 20 on our list, we're starting with X straight away. This is X-Men issue 1, the Premier Lou variant, guys. All right, that's your book. That is number 20 on our list this week. What can I tell you about it? Well, per premier variants tend to always be overpriced. However, there are always plenty of deals to be found. This was hot with 29 copies sold at a seven day trend of plus 64% and a high sale wall went for a very solid $40. Now, number 19 on our list is a book that I made a hot comic book alert about. And I like the sound of it, so I grabbed one. Sonata, issue number one from Image Comics. This is basically a story about two races that clash over a world they each believe to be their promised land, while a young woman seeks to wake the gods of legend that are believed to inhabit the planet. So it sounds like a good giant creature feature to me. Now, just this month, creator Brian Haberlein posted on his Facebook page that a TV deal is confirmed, and uh, that was also confirmed that uh, his other recent property, uh, The Marked, has been optioned as well. Now, this is a, like I say, a regular Brian Haberlin and Durant Van Dyke cover. It has sold 18 copies this past week, had a seven day trend of plus 117%, and a high sale CGC 9.8 went for $50. I paid £9.85 for my raw copy. They are normally going now for around about 15 to 20. I like the sound of Sonata more than the marks, actually. Number 18 on our list, guys. And we are talking Spawn. And how many covers are there at the moment for issues 300 and 301? Well, this is uh, the, the Campbell Virgin variant for issue 301, guys, for Spawn. I have all of the early Spawn issues, but I haven't read any of them other than issue 9, which was the first appearance of Angela. Of course, we we're supposedly getting a film at some point starring Jamie Foxx and Jeremy Renner. But whether Jeremy Renner is in it, in it now with what's going on in his private life, time will tell. Well, a lot of people like that cover. And for a Virgin cover, it sold well. It sold 18 copies at a seven-day trend, uh, plus 122%. And a high sale wall went for $13. Up next, more X, of course. House of X, issue three, the regular cover, guys. That is our next book on our list. I still haven't read any uh, Powers of Ten or House of X. I've not even purchased any. But that's a connecting cover and it's still selling well. This sold 21 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 107% and a high sale wall went for a respectable $13. Sticking with X titles. And this is a nice cover with a lot of different versions of Jean Grey. The book in question, X-Men issue one. And this is a scarce one in 50 Dortmund variant cover. Very busy cover, but it's pretty cool. I actually like Dark Phoenix, the, the movie. Again, I'm probably in the minority, but if you just sweep over the fact that Mystique got killed, I thought, uh, it was a good story. Not totally accurate to the comics, but a, a decent watch. Now that Dortmund, like I said, is a good cover. It sold 43 copies at a seven day trend of plus 51% and a high sale wall went for $40. That was for that incentive cover. Now, up next we've got more Spawn. And uh, number 15 on our list is the parody McFarlane variant. This is your book, guys. Of course, it is a it is a homage to Amazing Spider-Man issue three hundred and one, and Amazing Spider-Man 
homages always tend to sell well. <coughs> it sold 10 copies at a seven day trend of plus 238% and a high sale wall went for a very, very nice $54. Now, Black Label have been hit and miss. Um, of course, nothing will compare to the first Batawang in Batman Damned Issue 1. But the artwork is fantastic. I must admit, I've not picked up anything other than Batman Damned Issue number 1 and 2. This is Superman Year 1, Issue number 3. That is our next book on our list, guys. And... What can I tell you about it? They do make fun reads, and some fans even had to turn online to get a copy of that. It sold 16 copies, had a seven day trend of plus 154%, and a high sale raw went for $11. Of course, those uh, DC Black Label books are almost magazine stock size, aren't they? And I don't really like that. So, number 13 on our list, and we are sticking with Spawn again, guys. And we have got the regular cover for Spawn. And this is it. Spawn issue 301, the regular cover. I do like the co cover uh, colours with the Spawn covers, I've got to be honest. But like I say, there's just too many of them, aren't there? Issue 300 and 301 both have multiple covers. But that is simply a straightforward, nice Spawn cover. It sold 22 copies at a seven-day trend of plus 117%, and high sale raw went for $22. Now, number 12 on our list, following on from the Powers of 10 and House of X lead, this issue is pretty hot. And the book in question is a Wills Portacio variant, and it is a 1 in 25. Pretty cool cover with uh, Wolverine leading the way for X-Men issue number one. Wils Wils Portacio 1 in 25 variant. And it sold 30 copies at a seven day trend of plus 103%, but surprisingly a high sale raw only went for $15. But like I say, it's been selling quite a lot of copies. I'm not surprised you can get it at 1 in 25 for cheap. Number 11 on our list, and our first of the big runner up. We are talking more X, of course. And this time we are talking the Brooks Party variant, guys. This is your cover. Very different, but it's okay. It's not one for me, but it's certainly got an audience because it sold well. It sold 26 copies for a gorgeous Brooks cover. Had a seven day trend of plus 134%. And high sale wall went for ten dollars and now we're into the big top 10 guys the big top 10 and starting in at number 10 on our list more from the black label and this is a great new take on harley the book in question guys is this one harleen issue number one guys harleen issue number one i must admit the uh the artwork in these black label books are stunning now, this book sold 24 copies, and on average, the rules are going out for $8.17. Number nine on our list, and I'm back, woohoo, finally. This is X-Men Annual Issue 14, and this is the first full appearance of Gambit, Remy Etienne Lebeau. And, of course, uh, Gambit first appeared in the X-Men Origins film, which I enjoyed. But there was supposedly going to be a Channing Tatum uh, Gambit-led film. I'm glad that fell through. I am not a fan of Channing Tatum's acting. Um, now, this actually predates the Uncanny X-Men 266 by a month. And then, chronologically, the second story takes place before or during the events in the first story. And it contains a one-page pinup featuring Wolverine, Colossus, Havoc and Longshot by Kevin Nolan. And it also contains an alternate cover to this comic by Michael Golden. Now, it sold 19 copies this past week. On average, the rules are going for $24.75. I paid £8.50 for mine for, this is probably VF. I've sold one recently again for about 15 um, And 9.6 is on average are going for $66.13. Good book to have. 
if you're a big Gambit fan. And I like the character of Gambit. I want him to see him done properly in the MCU. Number eight on our list is the big boy of all big boy books, guys. And it's a book that sadly I will never own, which makes me sad. The book in question, of course, from Marvel, Incredible Hulk, issue 181. The first full appearance of Wolverine. And the debate roll on moment. Uh, like I said, the second appearance of Wolverine. I'm still surprised that 180 is not classed as the first appearance because he, he talks and he's in a couple of panels by all accounts, I think. It sold 16 copies this past week. I've been reading a lot of rumours that they're, Marvel are really chasing hard to get uh, Hugh Jackman back. How fantastic would that be? On average now, the rules are going for a staggering $1,981. On average now, a graded 8.0 is going for 3233 Unless car boot Tony de delivers, I'm going to have to set off for the facsimile, which makes me sad. Number seven on our list, and I'm back again. Nova is coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe at some point. And Nova 1 is the first appearance and origin of Nova, which is Richard Ryder. Uh, a, a great character. This was a great read. It is the first appearance of Centurion Nova Prime, Roman Day. And he appeared in the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, first movie. And I think he was played by one of the stepbrothers opposite Colin uh, Farrell, is it? The, uh, the comedian. And it's also the first appearance of Robbie Ryder, the brother of Nova, Charles Ryder, Glory Ryder, Bernie Dillon, Caps, Donnelly Dover, Ginger J, Mike Burley, Zora, and the Exandarians alien race. So you're getting banged for your buck with this book, guys. It sold 22 copies this past week. On average, now the rules are going for $63.50. I paid 20 quid for mine back at the back end of 2017. And mine's probably a 7, 7.5. It is a uh, pence copy, though. But I don't think that affects the grade too much on these higher end books. Uh, on average, the graded copies now are going for $303. Great book. Number six in our list, I sold issue two recently for about 10 quid, which I was happy with. I only paid a quid for it. Uh, but number six on our list is a book I made a hot comic book alert about. And the book in question, guys, is this one from Image Comics, Monstrous, issue number one. Heard good things about this. It has recently been optioned and it is supposedly coming to HBO, but that may have been dispelled. Time will tell whether we are getting that in or not, but I think it's something along the lines of Pacific Rim, if I'm not mistaken, the movie. Uh, it sold 21 copies recently. On average, the rolls are going for $52 and a 9.8 on average is going now for 158 bucks. Good stuff indeed. Number five on our list. I keep firing them out. And uh, more X. It's about time, isn't it, guys? We are getting House of X, issue number five. This is our next book on our list. House of X, the regular cover, issue number five. And what can I tell you about that one? Well, like I said, it's just simply a great story, apparently, by uh, House of X and Powers of Ten. And they've been selling so well. It sold 26 copies this past week. On average now, the rules are going for $4.83. So not very valuable, but it's the quantity. 26 have sold, like I said. Number four on our list. And it's one of the biggest sellers on eBay consistently, despite being mass-produced. Spawn, issue number one. Yep. Yeah. This is the first solo Spawn title, of course. Spawn first appears in Malibu Sun, issue 14, I believe. It could be 13. Mm. Uh, it sold 20 copies this past week. On average now, the rules going for $16.49. I sold, uh, I bought mine from Carbo Tony for £1.31. A ton of first appearances in this. James Wynn, who was in the Spawn movie, along with Mayor Bologia, uh, Wanda Fitzgerald. They all appeared in the, that 1990s Spawn film. Uh, we've got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch, Stephen Percival. This was the second title published by Image Comics and some stunning McFarlane art in this book. Of course, we are supposedly getting a Spawn film. Are we going to get it now? I don't know. Jimmy Fox is attached. Jeremy Renner is. But with what's going on in his private life, will we see Jeremy Renner even in the MCU? Time will tell. 
Number three in our list. I've been looking for this one, but I haven't found it as yet. This is X-Men issue 188. That is our number three this week, guys. Yeah, but I left field that one. Didn't really expect much from that book. But the reason it's selling, it's the first appearance of Serafina. And I think she is a big player in the current X titles. It sold 19 copies and on an average now. The rules are going for $7. Number two on our list. Glad I have this one because this is a stunning Psylocke cover. Uncanny X-Men, issue 467. And the reason this one is hot, this is the first appearance of the Shire Death Commandos. It was a Black Cloak, Devo, Hypernova, Crate, Offset, Sega, Shell and Warshot. It's also the first appearance of the Colony, Elaine Gray, Floor War Scroll, and the first appearance of John Gray, The Death of Shatterbox. So my word, you're getting a ton of first appearances in this book. 29 copies are sold recently, and on average they're going for $9.44. I paid just a quid for this one. Uh, a, a shop in town. And that leaves number one on our list. And it is a book I did a hot comic book alert about. I'm excited to see this character on the big screen. Number one is Spider-Man Unlimited. Issue number one. Yeah, the first appearance of Shriek, who is Francis Louise Barrison. And she is going to be in the Venom 2 movie. Yeah, the sequel to the Venom film starring Tom Hardy. And uh, it sold 156 copies this past week. Crazy stuff on average now. The war's going for $18.88. I paid just two quid for mine, and that was back in the middle of 2017. So you can see what a, a movie uh, announcement would do for a book. 9.8 on average are going now for $76.30. Shriek sounds like a cool character, guys, but I've got to be honest, I've not read the book as yet. Had it a long time. So that is it. That is our top 20 this week. Well, let's see what I got. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 20 for Daz. The X titles and current new titles are killing me. If you like what you see, guys, please subscribe. I'm up to a world record, 739. Push me to that 800. I'm going to be doing a competition when I get to 800. I've got a lot of good books to, to show. So get me there and you'll get rewarded. Um, thanks for everyone who watches and supports my channel. I know it's low grade, but it's really appreciated. That's Daz over now. Bye for now.